Stacy, I hope you don't mind me addressing my weirdo internet vlogs to you, but it's way easier for me to talk to my best friend than it is to talk to the entire internet. And also, you know, I'm kind of hoping that you may decide to write back. I just did air quotes. Um, please ignore that. Uh, but anyway, that's why I emailed you the password to the YouTube channel. So um, get on that. Um, basically, what I'm thinking here is it would be super cool if in our respected, very, very limited spare time, we could talk about, you know, like gender, media, Web 2.0, Issues, music, justice, American Idol, equality, horror movies, literature, science fiction, and, you know, like, people we think are hot. You know, all this stuff that we talk about on the phone when we have time, but where, like, other people can see it and hopefully enjoy it. So, yeah, start thinking of topics, Missy Miss. Um, for everybody that isn't Stacy, and I hope there are a few of you watching this, um, hi! Let me introduce myself. My name is Kate. I'm a halfway college educated uh, waitress with opinions on just about everything except maybe memory foam mattresses. Um, I read a lot of books. I do a lot of crossword puzzles. I spend a hell of a lot of time on the internet and I think about a lot. I think that this qualifies me to vlog about media if I want to. After all, that's what Web 2.0 is all about. In my opinion, the very, very coolest thing about living in this internet age is what we call user-generated content. It's the YouTube videos, the fanfic, the web comics, the webisodes, um, music that's going up on people's Facebooks and, and MySpace pages. It's 140 character news updates coming through Twitter out of Iran. Um, we're not being fed news by editors and anchors anymore, and we don't have to get our entertainment from, from networks or cable TV. We can make our own fun, as my grandmother might say, and then share it with everybody else who could possibly care to see it. Um, we can comment on the day's events, or shoot a minute-long sitcom, or write a novel and post it on our live journals. And anybody who wants to can watch it or, or read it and enjoy it, and then they can comment on it and start a dialogue that simply cannot exist between old media and its consumers. I mean, I have never had a chance to tell Anderson Cooper that he had a really good point tonight or, you know, take my little red pen and give J.K. Rowling constructive criticism as much as I want to, believe me. Oh my god. Beast in Harry's belly. What is that? Whatever. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Um, that process, the the original content, and then the enjoying of it, then the dialogue that can take place between the producer and the consumer, or um, I guess really the producer and fellow producer, because once you comment on the content, you become a part of it. Um, anyway, all of that creates kind of community. People being affected by each other in ways that were unimaginable even 10 years ago. People talk to people across the world, they make friends, they meet people that they want to marry and spend the rest of their life with, they form bonds and friendships and they support their families through Web 2.0 and they support charities and they support you know countries across the world and small children in in elementary schools who can't afford supplies and earthquake victims in Haiti and I think that that's really really effing cool. Um, what do you think Stace? What's the best thing about today's internet? How is it different from the internet that we had when we were 13 or 14? Um, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> Come on girl, get on it. Um, what about you? Anybody stumbling across this on YouTube? What do you think about Web 2.0? Contribute to the community, because if you're not contributing, you're just a passive consumer, and that's not the point. So contribute down in the comments, and uh, hopefully I'll see something from you, Stacy, sometime soon. Bye.